Daily Broadside Day 331. I saw a video this morning. It was like, the secret that no one tells you about Vegas is that although you can see it, you can't walk to the strip from the airport once you land. And I do remember the first time I planned a trip to Vegas, I remember Google Earth and I'm like, damn, well, they land the plane on the strip. It's like right there at it, you know? And uh, and so I, I, I take to the comments as I'm prone to do. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm immediately thinking, because people are like, What's the big deal? You know, it's 3.4 miles. That's walkable, you know. And I'm thinking, with luggage? And, of course, the first comment, you with luggage, you know. Uh, and then everybody's like, it's 120 degrees in the desert. It's a desert, you idiot. Just because it's a city doesn't negate the fact that it's a desert. And then somebody else is like, it's a desert. And so you see the theme. But it would be funny for somebody to video. I'd probably do it if I lived there. Just, like, fly into the airport grab you a rolling bag and a carry-on bag and then walk to uh, the Bellagio. And somebody actually commented, some woman was like, I did it. Now, there were several people that had done it. And one lady was like, I did it. I walked from the Bellagio to the airport. I almost died. And just the way she said it, it's pretty funny. I just think that'd be kind of a funny experiment to watch, you know? Hour three, I need water. You know, just crawling through the desert like Clark in uh, the first vacation movie, you know? I'm pretty sure I could be a rocket. I can kick my leg up in unison. I mean, what the hell's so hard about being a rocket? I mean, I'm not as pretty, and my legs probably aren't nearly as good looking. Uh, but I can do the physical maneuver of a rocket dance. How how hard is that? We could probably train some chimps to do that in about the matter of about seven minutes. That's my exit. Yeah, and uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, Dell and uh, Neil had a combined $963 at a minimum when they were robbed by the pizza guy the night before when they discover in the diner they don't have any money left. And that was 1987. That's the equivalent of $2,480 that those two dudes were carrying. Why would you carry that much money in 1987? I mean, what did a VCR cost? I mean, what could you possibly need to buy on a trip from, you know, back to Chicago that you would both have that much money. And Dell, maybe I could see it because he's a traveling salesman. I don't guess credit cards were as apropos back then as they are now, but still, it just seems like an ass ton of money. Uh, I was never a John Lennon fan when I was a kid. I liked the Beatles, but I just didn't like Lennon and uh, until I heard his solo albums, and then I liked Lennon. Um, the man's a genius, and he buries Paul McCartney in every stretch of the imagination. I'm not a big Paul McCartney. I never liked Paul McCartney. Uh, John Lennon is better than Paul McCartney and always will be. And my top five uh, painful tattoo areas. I like the fact that everybody gets tattoos these days and yet everybody's like, that hurt. And the other ones are like, that didn't really hurt on me. Everybody's body is so different. It's fast. Like my upper shoulders. One of them hurt like a bitch. The other one, I didn't even know he's doing it. It's the same tattoo. It's crazy. But my top five most painful areas would be the back of my left calf, the outside of my back, all the way down the outside of my back. That was miserable. Um, the left elbow, that was miserable. Um, the back of my right quad, that was miserable. And the stomach, which was, wait for it, a miserable. But then the other, you know, like I've gotten, uh, you know, I've gotten both quads, I've gotten both calves, I've gotten both elbows. It, it, one of them doesn't hurt. It's crazy. The body is just an amazing enigma. It's an enigma machine. Uh, anyway, get in. Have a good one.